So the first thing I like to do on this game is defeat bosses in fun and interesting ways. I'm going to defeat this Hinox before it even wakes up. If I'm nice and quick and repeatedly fire arrows at it, it should automatically be defeated when I hit the ground with a bit of luck. There we go. Boss defeated. He didn't even notice me. I can now claim all those lovely rewards. That was a very quick and easy way to defeat a Hinox. There we go. All right, so moving on to the second thing I like to do, build rather crazy and unusual things. Now what I've done here is made a chain of fan planes. What I'm going to try and do is get to the other side using this absolute monstrosity. Now this should be quite fun. I don't know how well this is going to work, so let's give this a try. Oh, it's going up in the air. That's maybe not ideal, and I've managed to fall off the fan plane chain. It should crash into the water now though, so let's give this another go, see if I can make it across. Might take a few tries if I fall off again. It's looking a lot better though from the front. It's not going up in the air. You can see the chain of fan planes. Oh, there's an enemy firing at me now, which is a bit unfortunate. There we go. It's working a lot better from the front than it was from the back. I will try going to the back again or near the middle. It should go up in the air again from here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's an enemy now in the way. I'm going to take that out. It's going to be a pain. Right, let's get my bow out and shoot the enemy. One other useful thing is that these fans do block the enemy attacks. You probably just saw that there. The water shot hit the fan rather than hit me, which was quite nice. Right, here we go again. Let's go from the middle this time. It will probably go up in the air from here. Yeah, you can see we're going up. And we might be going for another crash landing pretty soon. Right. Yeah, we're getting quite high now. It's not ideal from the back. Here we go, into the water. Into the water. Okay, let's try again. From the front this time around. Let's see if we can make it to the island. Oh no, the whole thing has run out. So we did make it to the island over here eventually. It was pretty cool, but... Not something I would recommend doing. So the third thing I really like doing in this game is using rocket shields. These are really useful for gaining ground fast. Plus they are also a lot of fun to use. I like using these in the depths. The depths is quite difficult to explore in places. So having a bunch of rocket shields equipped makes this a lot faster and easier. I'm going to use another one here to gain ground really quickly and this is a lot faster than trying to climb up all the rock faces. So I'm going to make it to the light route which is just over here. Shouldn't take me too much more time to get over there. There we go, we've made it to the light route and that was quite fun. A nice easy way of making it to where you want to go. All right, for number four, it's some shrine cheesing. This is always fun. I do enjoy finding alternative ways to complete the shrines. So what I'm going to do here is try and throw my weapon at the target to complete the shrine instead of doing it by the intended method. I need to place the ball in exactly the right place though in order for this to work so I will move it a little bit that should be pretty much perfect and now what I want to do is ascend through the bottom and hopefully with a bit of luck pop out on top of the ball there we go that worked perfectly then throw the weapon at the target there we go cheesed perfectly that's that done and that was a fun and cheesy way to complete that shrine. 
plenty of other shrines can be completed in the same sort of way. And I'm going to finish off this video with some fun with explosives. This is definitely one of my favourite things to do on the game. Plenty of explosives here. Let's put that fire fruit on and blow up the explosives. Nice. Do it again as well over here. Wait for it. There we go. So what I'm going to do here is throw this explosive crate down and see what sort of effect I can get with this. Right, it should blow up in a minute. Oh, the enemies are coming over to check it out. That's not the smartest move, is it? There we go, they got blown up. I'm going to go down there and finish them off, though. Let's get him in the back. Nice. And there's two more enemies in this area. Let's take them out nice and quickly with my lovely club. So there we go, I think I'm pretty much done with this video. I hope you found that enjoyable. If you want to check out my first ever Tears of the Kingdom video, you can do so right now, it's on the screen. Also, liking and subscribing is very much appreciated. And thanks for watching.